All right, Doc. All right, I'm going to read this one because it's a long one, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, this one says, I am 23 years old and I ran test cypionate 250 1 ml twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays intramuscularly. After I finished the vial, I got test enanthate and planned on doing the same thing. So before a workout, I gave myself a shot and I got a headache during my workout on the right side of my head. The headache went away that night and I've been feeling weird ever since. It's almost like I have a high feeling 24-7 and kind of lightheaded. I took the shot on Tuesday and I've been feeling the same and it's Sunday. I took my blood pressure and it's fine and I'm not nauseous or anything. Is this normal? Let me stop there and say no. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, we're, I'm not even the slightest bit trying to practice medicine, just disseminate some information with these videos. Well, I should say we are not trying to do anything but that. Um, but no, I see no relationship between using testosterone, uh, what testosterone could be converted into, or anything like that that would cause uh, a, a headache necessarily. Um, although you could argue, okay, it could leverage a tension headache if someone's already kind of tightly wound. It'll leverage, uh, you know, the muscles tightening up on the on the side of the head. But I can't let it go of that. If you came to me and said, hey, uh, this is what's happening, and, it, and you are, then I would say you need to follow up with a physician. Uh, do not pass go. Definitely follow up. It might be something simple, but it might be something not so simple. And there can be lots and lots of causes of headaches. That they're over, you know, over. There's literally hundreds of migraine headaches out there, different types. Those are just migraine headaches. There's all kinds of other headaches. So, um, yeah, I, I, I I'd want to go and follow up with a physician because no, that's not normal. Um, to finish the, the the question he's asking, I read online that test and anti stays in the system for about 22 days. Uh, I'm not sure how you come up with that calculation. Uh, depending on what study you read, test uh has a half-life of, of seven days. If you multiply times five to get uh, an estimated terminal half-life, that'd be about 35 days. So I don't mean if you, uh, I don't know if you mean to ask me if um, there's any left in the system at that point. I, I would say probably at 35 days, there's nothing left in there. But I don't know where the 22 comes from. Uh, I also take uh, Floxetine or Prozac antidepressant for OCD. Um, I haven't had a problem like this before when I ran a cycle for about three months on test and anti. However, my OCD got worse after I finished the cycle. Have you ever heard of this happening to anyone while on test and anti? So again, uh, uh, and thanks Colin. No, no, I haven't heard of this before. Uh, there might be, look, you mentioned that uh, it's test cypionate, 250 milligrams per ml, and I don't think you give me a a, uh, a strength for the testosterone and anthate, but uh, I don't know too many pharmacies in this country that make 250 per ml, so I'm assuming, maybe incorrectly, that this is um, what, what would it call it? bootleg uh, underground, yeah, underground uh, testosterone. That could be the problem right there. Who knows if they're putting a baker's dozen of uh, benzoyl benzoate, sodium benzoate, benzoyl alcohol, whatever they're using to, to hold in solution and also try and prevent. Uh, bacteria from growing, uh, if, you know, or who knows what's in there. I mean, that's the problem with underground and bootleg and all non-pharmaceutical stuff. Uh, you never know what's in there, and you're you're always rolling the dice, man. And, and I'm not, you know, giving anybody any grief, but that's the fact: is you're rolling yeah. the dice. Yeah. So maybe it's something that's in there. You know, one of the excipients could be an issue. Um, anyway, bottom line, I would definitely follow through and see if there's. You want to find out why you have the headache. Yeah. Make sure it's not something serious. For sure. Thanks, Dr. Ryan.